Hey gang, Evan Sutton here. I'm the senior sound design instructor here at DubSpot in New York City and online. And I'm here to talk to you today about making a funky lead sound using Native Instruments' newest synthesizer, Monarch. So strap in, get ready to get down. You gotta get up to get down. And we're about to set it off. All right, so I've instantiated Monarch here. You load up Monarch in Reactor. You can find it under the Player tab in your browser there with the magic wand. Uh, let's take a listen to the init patch here, also known as Defined. Now, the Monarch is basically an emulation of the Minimoog, so it has some really, really basic features. It's kind of cool because it's very, very simple, and it just has a nice, straightforward, raw, uh, analog-style sound. So you can go through the presets here, also known as snapshots in Reactor. But today we're going to build something from scratch. I think it's extra special when you build something from scratch. So let's go over to the user bank, and you'll notice that there is an init patch here. And what that means is that it's like basically a full reset. So what you're going to hear when you do that is a nice, heavy square wave, a pulse wave. Let's take a look at uh, the layout here of Monarch. We've got some of our modulation over here, including glide, pitch bend, and the uh, overall tuning. So you can transpose the incoming MIDI pitch in octaves. And then we have our three oscillators here. Oscillator one does not have fine tuning, but it has the octave waveform. And then oscillators two and three have octave fine tuning and the waveform. We also have some key tracking here, some uh, funny business that we'll talk about a little later. This is the mixer section. We have volume for each of the three oscillators, okay? And then we can activate each of those by clicking on the little button. All right, now we also have the ability to add a feedback loop if we want, we can add some noise. Uh, we're not really gonna use those so much today. We're gonna go for something a little bit smooth and classic. I'm kind of trying to call on Bernie Warrell a little bit here. If you don't know Bernie, uh, he's a really famous user of the original Minimoog. He played with Parliament Funkadelic, those of you who remember uh, the bass line from Flashlight, that was him. And then uh, he also played with the Talking Heads and numerous other people. He's really known for kind of originating this funky electric sound that we have here uh, that we're gonna be working with today. So we're gonna kind of emulate that a little bit, get some nice modulation going and we're going to work this filter section here okay we have a nice uh, low pass filter here with a few modes we're going to talk about those and then we have envelopes for the filter and for the amplitude here let's start off by taking a listen to this track that i'm going to add a lead sound to let's take a listen uh oh uh oh uh oh Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. It's almost too much. I know, it's almost too much. It's so funky. I think that YouTube actually has a clause in its license agreement saying that you can't be this funky. But here at DubSpot, we found a way around it. Now, let's start out by just adding another oscillator and let's get a little bit of a detune going. So we have the second oscillator here. Again, I activated it just by clicking this button. We can adjust the volume here. I'm going to set these both to sawtooth. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to detune oscillator two ever so slightly, okay? So what that's going to do is it's going to create just a little bit of softness, almost like a chorusing type of effect. Okay, not much. If you double click, you can get back to the default. It's already got a little bit of what they call a slop on it, which means that it's emulating a classic analog circuit where the tuning is a little bit imperfect, which is kind of nice. I'm just gonna set it off a little bit more so we get something a little more aggressive. We could also change the tuning here if we want. You probably don't need so much detuning when you're up top there. Now, let's add some filter action. So let's let's listen to this filter. Uh, right now we're in the uh, MM mode, which I believe stands for Mini Moog. <gasps> I don't know if you're allowed to say that, uh, but yeah, Mini Moog. So we're emulating the classic low pass filter, uh, the four pole, 24 dB per octave uh, low pass filter, also known sometimes as the ladder. Okay, let's listen to it as I pull the cutoff down. 
pretty solid. We can add a little resonance. Now, it would be really nice if I had some kid that I could hire, you know, to move this knob every time I hit a note. But that's not okay in this country, at least. And I, I don't know if I can uh, find any kids that would be really interested in turning a knob like this every time I hit a note. And how would they know when I'm going to hit a note? This is music. So let's go ahead and work the filter envelope. The good people at, uh, well, the good people who made this synthesizer foresaw this problem that I'm having. And uh, they decided to add this envelope that we can use to create some automatic modulation on the filter cutoff. Now we can enable filter cutoff modulation using the contour knob here. Uh, this lets us set the modulation range for the filter envelope. Let's take a listen. Let's turn the cutoff down to give it lots of room to work. So I have a really fast attack and a slow decay. And the sustain is at zero, meaning it's gonna go all the way down. A little resonance. Let's add a little attack maybe. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take one of my lead sounds here. I'm just going to drop it in here and let's take a listen. Oop, that's a little too short for that attack. Let's pull it in. And now I'd like to add a little bit of release. So I'm just going to flip this switch and this decay time is also going to control the release. And I'm going to do that on the amplitude as well. Very nice. Okay, so I like that very much. We're sounding pretty solid here. Uh, we got some nice detuning going. We've got some nice uh, filter modulation. The last step, let's just add a little bit of magic, a little bit of pixie dust that we can just dust all over this thing. Because the, the, the reason for this is that I like to have a lot of expressiveness in the sounds. And right now, Right now, there's, there's a good amount of expressiveness, there's some nice movement, but I'd like a little wild card that I can add to the sound. So, what I want to do is add some mod wheel modulation, okay? You may be wondering why we're not using oscillator 3. Well, we do have the opportunity to route oscillator 3 as a control signal as opposed to an audio signal. So, if I flip this switch, then it's going to activate modulation of the pitch when I push the mod wheel up. And it's going to use oscillator 3 as the modulation source. Let's take a listen. And I can change the frequency just by turning this knob. And what you're noticing is that this oscillator is actually moving really slowly, much like an LFO. We can actually set that in the low setting here and we can make it move really, really slowly so that we can really hear the modulation. Now, if I, if I push it up, then it's going to be going too quickly for us to hear. But if we pull it down, we'll get something that's a little more coherent, a little more groovy, a little more reminiscent of a vibrato. So I can go ahead, maybe I'll get rid of this line for now. I'll leave it to this other lead that I created. And now I can just go ahead and wail a little bit with my mod wheel. Now keep in mind, there's kind of a large range of modulation here, so you can't really slam on it and expect a totally coherent vibrato. You kind of have to be a little careful with it. Now don't forget, we also have the ability to add uh, some pitch bend. Let's bring up the sustain here. And now we have an opportunity to wail a little bit.
I hope you've enjoyed making some space age funky sounds using a nice throwback synth, Monarch. This is a nice, simple, straightforward synth if you want something that's a little bit gritty and a little bit classic. So I hope you enjoyed this. My name is Evan Sutton, also known as Astrolith. You can catch me at astrolith.net. I'm the senior sound design instructor and course designer here at DubSpot in New York City and online or here at DubSpot. I'll catch you next time. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.